All right, you're watching DefenseReview.com. I'm here with Gabriel DePlano of, uh, of BDT, and uh, he's going to show us uh, this very interesting uh, prototype weapon. Uh, and uh, what are we looking at here? So this is the uh, mock-up. This is a mock-up. It's not a functioning firearm of the General Dynamics NGSW Candidate uh, rifle. So this is uh, this is currently under evaluation. Uh, General Dynamics has a development contract for this gun right here and a variant of it called the automatic rifle which will be similar to this gun with a slightly longer barrel and a bipod. This gun is uh, part of the program that the Army plan in which the Army plans to replace all the M4A1s in the squad as well as all the M249 uh, weapons in the squad. So these guns as you can see this is a innovative uh, bullpup design. Very short. This gun, even though it provides you know, high performance compared to the current M4A1, is actually it's actually shorter than the M4A1 with its collapse stock. So very compact gun, very lightweight, fires a proprietary uh, cartridge that uh, GD developed with True Velocity. It's a polymer case cartridge. It does fire the government designed and government owned a bullet. It's a 6.8 millimeter projectile that has to be used by all of industry to develop these new weapon systems. Uh, again, as you can see, very lightweight, very compact. We have a Delta P suppressor up front, high performance suppressor. As you can see, it's relatively short, but relatively wide. So we get very efficient, high volume uh, suppressor made out of uh, very interesting uh, metals. The gun that you see here uses standard components like standard grips. It will feature, by the way, an intelligent rail that provides power and data transfer to all the accessories that are attached to it. And which is down here, basically. Which right? actually, this is a version, in, yes, the RARX 100 here prototype features that. This is actually a working model. It has the tactical light, the laser pointer, and the red dot, all powered by a six, in this case, a six AA battery pack. In this case, we will have actually a saddle. We will have a kind of a sa side saddle design battery pack that will fit, fit here, very conformal to design. Beretta is part of, is proud to be part of the General Dynamics team. We're going to be providing uh, design uh, support at this point in time. The, the design is still evolving, it's still improving. So we're lending uh, General Dynamics our know-how in small arms design. And then obviously in the future, what our hope is to be part of the manufacturing of the of the gun since uh, since one company will be awarded a manufacturing contract and Beretta hopes to assist uh, General Dynamics in obviously manufacturing as much of the gun as as we can. Very cool. And this uh, is just under development and it'll under continue develop. to uh, continue develop. Evolve. The first phase of the government contract uh, expects the samples, first samples delivered in April and then a second set of samples to be delivered in December of this year. So it's a very, very fast program, very fast paced. Sometime in 2021, the government will award a, a, a contract, a production contract to, uh, to a company. And again, this is called the... It's the General Dynamics uh, NGSW um, to... Uh, uh, now the name escapes me. The, it's a 277 NGSW. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. You're at Chacho 2020, and you're watching DefenseReview.com.